Welcome back. If you see it, smash it and then report it. That's the message from the U.S. Department of Agriculture about a nasty invading bug that could for the very first time show itself up in Chicagoland. The spotted lanternfly native to parts of eastern Asia was first discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014 and their eggs are hatching right now in 14 states and the pest is likely working its way west. As of late March last year, even found in two counties in eastern Indiana, but entomologists say according to this map, the invaders could thrive in much of the Great Lakes region, so it needs to be stopped now and we're all soldiers in the battle against spotted lanternfly. The bug and their young nymph have piercing and sucking mouth parts and feed on the tissue of a wide range of fruit and woody trees. And while adults seem to love the invasive tree of heaven most of all, they'll also go for grapes, apples, hops, walnuts, oak, cherry, lilac, and a host of other hardwood trees. It can damage crops and sometimes kill the tree itself. They're not big on flying great distances, but they're apparently great hitchhikers on plant material. This is what the egg mass looks like on a tree along with an adult fly. And this is what the young nymph looks like. Now in Indiana, the Department of Natural Resources would be the agency that would want to know about them. Their email on your screen, or you can also call them at 866-NO-TOXIC. From the mute viewer mailbag, Scott Thielson writes in that he's allergic to wasps and what plant is a good deterrent? Now, luckily, there's quite a few plants that can deter wasps, but can be colorful and pleasant for humans. Mint and spearmint are among the favorite of mine from the list of top 10 suggestions from Home and Gardens magazine. They also suggest the ground hugging cushions of herb thyme, which are disliked by wasps and say the strongest flavor and scent is in the young fresh leaves. So trimming them back to encourage new growth does the best to ward off off wasps. Marigolds, easy to care for and they're colorful too. You can grow marigolds from seed or buy them easily from most any place that sells plants. All the plants I've mentioned would do well in containers or hanging baskets all around your porch or patio where you'd like to keep the wasps away. Patrick in the Avondale neighborhood in Chicago asked if there's a best way to position seeds when you plant them in the soil. Well, it doesn't matter all that much because in nature, seeds land where they land, but theoretically you can give your seeds a better shot at success at becoming mature plants if you position them correctly. Now the theory goes, if the seed spends less time orienting itself in the ground, it can spend more energy becoming a healthy plant. So it depends on the type of seed, but if the seeds are pointy or football shaped, the pointier end or where the seed was attached to the plant should be pointed downwards because that's where the root emerges. For beans shown here in this graphic in the middle, from the seed collective, the root emerges from the inner curve of the bean. You want to put that end down. And for round seeds on the right, it really doesn't matter. Like this broccoli sprout I just got at my place, they seem to figure itself, themselves out. Speaking of growing plants from seeds, Joseph Mizek says he has trouble growing plants from seeds and asks if I've got any suggestions. We'll cover that topic next week. If you've got any gardening questions, especially if it has to do how weather can affect plants, feel free to send me an email, tjoyce at wgntv.com. In the meantime, I've got the gardening forecast right after the break.